Hello there. You're very welcome to join me on my YouTube channel today. We're just circling over Kingsbridge Estuary. Well, I know it's not really an estuary. It's strictly speaking, it's a rear. But anyway, we are circling over the estuary on this fine, sunny, clear day. And uh, it's particularly refreshing to see how blue and clear the water is in the estuary and also the view. And the most interesting thing I came across and the thought that I've been having is that when the uh, railway line first came to Kingsbridge in 1893, of course, the passengers would arrive at Kingsbridge and many would like to uh, uh, would like to travel on to Salcombe. So one of the ways uh, that they were able to do this is the uh, Great Western Railway uh, used to charter pedal steamers and the pedal steamers would um, pick up the passengers at the head of the estuary. In those days, it went right up to uh, the estuary, went right up to where Boots the Chemist is today. Uh, they would board the paddle steamer there, of course, at high tide. And then they would travel on down to Salcombe in, in perhaps, you know, quite a civilised way compared to uh, going all the way on a on, in a horse and coach. Now, there were three different paddle steamers that were um, plying their trade up and down the uh, Kingsbridge Estuary. They were the Salcombe Castle, the Ilton Castle and the Kenwith Castle. Um, uh, these were all built at different times it, and it all started off really with the um, with the uh, Plymouth Express. I'm just going to um, pop over to uh, Dartmouth actually because uh, Dartmouth we're running paddle steamers from Dartmouth up to Totnes, up the River Dart. Uh, round about the similar times that they were doing it on the King's Majestry. So running up and down the River Dart, you had uh, paddle steamers like the Kingsweir Castle, the Totnes Castle, and of course the Compton Castle. Now the Compton Castle, very similar to the Kingsweir Castle, uh, that um, sadly ended its days as a cafe at the top of the Kingsbridge Estuary. But um, nevertheless, the Kingsweir Castle is still running. And uh, here you can see in this picture, this is uh, the actually the Compton Castle's engine, which was uh, restored into a museum. And this is the inside also of the, uh, the uh, Kingsweir Castle. Um, because the Kingsway Castle is the last coal-fired steam paddle engine boat that's running on the River Dart. We're just taking a flight now, approaching the entrance to the uh, to, to Dartmouth uh, Harbour and to the uh, River Dart, which uh, meanders from. Well, it starts up uh, up near the moors, but it comes down through Totnes all all the way down here to uh, to exit the sea at uh, Dartmouth. But the uh, paddle steamers were running from Dartmouth up to uh, Totnes, stopping at different places along the way. And the Kingsway Castle is is one of those paddle steamers uh, which is still running today. Yeah, the the Kingsway Castle was actually built in uh, 1924 here in Dartmouth by uh, by Philip and Son. Um, but it's now fully restored and running between Dartmouth and Totnes taking taking pleasure flights. Pleasure flights, I beg your pardon. I know we're flying up the uh, River Dart but uh, and looking down, but the, uh, the paddle steamer is taking pleasure trips up the River Dart to Totnes, calling at different places, uh, different locations on the way. This castle, which was uh, built here also in Dartmouth in 1923, and was running until 1963, um, when sadly it would no longer pass its uh, certificates, and uh, it was uh, going to be towed to Plymouth uh, to be scrapped. And uh, unfortunately, when the uh, tow, they ran into problems around uh, Bigbury Bay and the uh, Totnes Castle sadly 
uh, sank and it's uh, and there it lays in about 43 meters of water um, wasn't discovered until uh, until the 70s but um, interesting also the Totnes cars could carry up to 400 passengers so they had quite a quite a good carrying capacity but um, sadly it's uh, now lying at the bottom of uh, Bigbury Bay and uh, the only people that can uh, have a look at it are the um, are the deep sea divers Interestingly, the Compton Castle um, was built in uh, 1914 and it had a working life of uh, 48 years until 1962 when again they were becoming uh, past their sell by date and uh, it was refused a certificate uh, to, to uh, continue operating in uh, 1962 um, so it was uh, it was sadly uh, it, it, it then made its way up the uh, Kingsbridge Estuary um, and was um, located at the head of the Kingsbridge Estuary from around about 1964 to 1978 and it was uh, in fact a, a cafe there for many years and uh, back in the day they also did a um, Captain Birdseye advert uh, on that location on the paddle steamer. Now sadly the Compton Castle has now long departed Kingsbridge and um, it was towed uh, down to Truro where they had great plans for it but um, very sadly now it's languishing in uh, on, on the estuary now down at Truro and uh, not really being used for anything its uh, engines have uh, long been removed they've gone to a museum and uh, so it doesn't have its engines anymore it's all been decked over and uh, it looks most peculiar and it, it was a very sad ending for the Compton Castle having uh, having worked its uh, worked its way up and down the River Dart for so many years of course um, Great Western Railway were quick to uh, seize the opportunity to have the uh, paddle steamers running from uh, Kingsbridge down to Solcombe so the passengers would uh, arrive at Kingsbridge Station. Uh, this is the early, late 1800s, early 1900s. And rather than take a coach, horse and carriage and coach down to Solcombe, uh, they had the option to uh, to, to take a, a trip down the river in, the, in a paddle steamer. So uh, that was, uh, they were running three paddle steamers, Solcombe Castle, Ilton Castle and Kenwith Castle. And they were running really between sort of uh, the mid 20s until the early 30s and uh, those paddle steamers were around about 53 tons now as time moves on by the 1930s um, buses were beginning to take over and so the paddle steamers to some to largely just became redundant so most of them were laid up and from from then onwards pretty much the uh, the buses took over, taking passengers from Kingsbridge Railway Station down, down on the on the road route down to uh, down to Solcombe, uh, which was becoming uh, fast becoming a tourist hotspot. As well as uh, taking passengers from from Kingsbridge down to Solcombe, and also from then Solcombe back up to Kingsbridge, these paddle steamers were involved with uh, taking uh, pleasure trips around the estuary and uh, they used to pick up the passengers at different points along the way uh, and take the uh, and take the passengers for a, a pleasure trip around this very very stunningly beautiful Kingsbridge estuary which uh, must have been quite an event in its time here at, at Bonds Quay uh, which is uh, where the crab shell is uh, is the Kingsbridge packet which was a steam uh, powered tug that, which used to depart um, Kingsbridge uh, with various uh, goods that were brought up to Bonds Quay and then they would travel down to uh, with passengers and goods they would travel down to Solcombe pick up more passengers and then take the whole trip round to Plymouth and then return the following day and this is the Kenwith Castle one of the uh, smaller paddle steamers that was uh, plying its trade up and down the Kingsbridge estuary it's quite a spectacular view looking down at the uh, 
at Kingsbridge and the Kingsbridge Estuary. And uh, it's quite nice to look down on this view. This was when the uh, Kingsbury Estuary, of course, went all the way up to where in Kingsbridge um, Boots the Chemist is now and where the bus stop is. Uh, so the boats could actually, the boats could pretty much well go right up to the head of the estuary. But sadly, as time moved along, uh, it began to silt up and they weren't cleared quite so often. You can hear, see here the um, what we think is the Kenworth Castle, um, at the uh, which is near the park at uh, Kingsbridge, uh, just turning around and uh, before it picks up passengers and goes back down the uh, Kingsbridge Estuary. Uh, we're moving up as into the town. As you can see here, the estuary went all the way up to where um, Boots the Chemist is and the uh, bus stop is now directly in front of you. Uh, and, the, and sadly, you know, back in the, uh, I think back in the 50s, they started to uh, started to think about um, filling it in to, to create a car park. But, uh, and here again, you can see uh, a view from the other side, looking over towards um, what used to be the Anchor Hotel, which is the, uh, which is now the, uh, key flying out over the town now uh, and looking back now at the dear old Compton Castle which spent many years at the head of King's Progestry and was one of those paddle steamers that used to ply it straight up and down the River Dart. Uh, it uh, uh, never actually uh, uh, was in service uh, up and down the King's Progestry. And here's the horse and carriage at Kingsbridge Railway Station which um, would take the passengers Many times they would go all the way to Solcombe in a horse and carriage, but other times they only went down as far as the edge of the estuary so that they could climb aboard the uh, paddle steamer. And finally here we're looking at the uh, Kingsway Castle on one of its uh, trips uh, up the River Dart. I really, really hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this uh, tale of the uh, steam paddles, paddle boats going up and down. And um, please have a think uh, about subscribing to the channel and uh, I look very much forward to seeing you on the next uh, film. Take the greatest of care, all the very best. Cheers for now. <laughs>